Maestro. One, two, three. Hey guys, this is Mighty Master One Two Three here, and uh, in this tutorial, guys, of Adobe Premiere Elements Ten, I'm gonna show you guys how to use effects. So yeah, anyways, let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is gonna go to Edit. So let's go to Edit here real fast. Now uh, here's transitions, but I don't want transitions. By default, effects should be able to load up. If they don't, just click on it. So let's give it a sec. Anyways, effects allow you to do a lot of different stuff with your video. You can make it go black and white. You can make stuff spherize, meaning like really bulge the video out, so on and so forth. So uh, for example, let's say over here in my clip of getting a Killionaire. Yeah, see, okay, here they are, extract, black and white, you know. Anyways, um, let's say here, uh, all right, so when I, once I get the Killionaire, uh, let's say I want it to be uh, like absolutely amazing. So let's scroll back here. All right, I get the Killionaire. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is see here in our clip how I almost get the Killionaire. Here, this is where we're gonna split the clip. So it cuts that in half. Then we also want the uh, killionaire half to be in there too. So there's me getting the killionaire. Maybe extend it a little bit. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is split it again. Now, uh, as you can see here, I have just split the clip two times. As you can see, this is where my killionaire happens. Everything else is just whatever. But this is where you add your effects into the video. So right here is where I get the Killionaire. So here's what we're going to do. is uh, First we're going to look through all these effects. As you can see there's Invert, Auto Tone, all this stuff, Mirror, Wave Warp. I mean, just yeah, there's just a whole lot of effects here we can choose from. Uh, old Film's pretty cool, but uh, I'm probably not going to use that. Uh, let's see here. So... I guess I'll test some of the effects to show you guys what, what it does to the clip. So, okay, uh, lightning is a cool one. If I drag that over here in, into this spot here of my clip, uh, you should see lightning, yep. So there's lightning. Anyways, what it does is when I play the video. Oh my gosh, Killionaire! Yeah, it shows the lightning in there, and it, 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 it looks pretty cool. I mean, you can also edit it if you want to just by clicking here. See, how I, the, the effect is already added into the clip. So I could just go here to edit effects. Now for lightning, there's really a lot you can do to like really edit like segments. If you scroll down here a little bit, you have just a bunch of different options. So you guys could just fool around with that if you wanted to. Anyways, uh, so probably what I'll do is uh, right click this. I'll clear it. What I'm probably going to do is uh, just for the heck of it, I'm just going to make this Killionaire look absolutely amazing by doing some kind of earthquake. Oh man, earthquake's pretty funny. Can you click on it for a preview? No, I don't think you can. I think that's a transition. Anyways, I'll drag it to my clip. So let's drag this in here like so. There we go. Now this effect's really funny. Now I think when I get a Killionaire, uh, of course I'd probably use this effect a lot because it's really funny. Uh, it just shakes your screen like nuts. So uh, let's play the clip and I'll show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> like it's having an earthquake there. I get the Killionaire and it just looks pretty funny. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I guess that pretty much concludes this tutorial. I mean, you can add effects, you can edit them, you can do whatever the heck you want. I mean, you know, line drawing is also a cool one. Scroll down here. So yeah, once again, you can have it go towards the end of your clip and stuff like that. Uh, let's just drag it in here. See, so there's what line drawing would look like. It's actually pretty cool. Makes the video go really slow though, but anyways, it's still really cool. Once again, this red line over here means it's um, unrendered. If it's green, it means it plays smoothly. Once again, you press enter to make this green, let it fix render the media, you know, make it play a lot smoother.
Let's see if it plays smooth now. May not be there, but anyways. Yeah, so you can see what I mean there. Anyways, so yeah, that's kind of some of the effects you can do in Adobe Premiere Elements 10. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I guess if you want more tutorials with Adobe Premiere Elements 10, feel free to let me know. And uh, I'll try and post it the best I can. Last video, some guy says, can you do a tutorial with the uh, effects of Adobe? In this case, this video does show you how to use some of the effects effectively and how to edit them and so on and so forth. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I can do to make the video better, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching.